Well, kids now are getting into social media younger and younger um, as it becomes bigger in society. And I think for parents, it's really important that they stay in touch with their kids, make sure that they know uh, what their kid is doing on social media. They never know how it's going to affect them. Uh, it's a paper trail. So if you're irresponsible on social media, uh, it can really follow you anywhere, uh, whether that becomes uh, you playing at a higher level or going to school or anything like that. In terms of kids growing up and things, you just got to understand that there's eyes on you at all times. And uh, that's one thing that people don't think, like uh, the, the rule to live by that everybody says is don't tweet or post anything that your grandma wouldn't, grandma wouldn't like. So, um, I mean, so I'm, I somewhat live by that, but I don't, I, mean, I don't really use social media as much as I probably should in, in terms of other stuff. But um, it, you got to be careful nowadays and everybody's looking out for you. Sportsmanship in, in sports in general is huge. Um, you know, you look at social media and, and how that it revolves around the world today. Um, I didn't have to deal with that as a young kid. There was no Twitter, there was no Instagram. And, um, you know, a lot of times, uh, you know, it's, it's easier to say something bad to someone through via uh, Instagram or, or Twitter. And, and sometimes it's just as hurtful. So I've always used the message and, and uh, you know, just treat people like you'd want to be treated. And obviously when you get into sports and it's competitive, sometimes, uh, you know, you get a little heated, but you have to be able to control that. and, and, uh, and and that's huge, especially as a young person and, and as a young teammate. Uh, you always want to be the best teammate possible and, and uh, you know, obviously, like I said, treat people the way you want to be treated. It's also really important for parents to know that what they do on social media has a consequence as well. I know uh, especially they want to go on there, maybe defend their kid, voice their opinion. Um, they're one and the same with their kids now on social media. The parent represents the child, the child represents the parent. So as important as it is for parents to make sure that their kid is behaving on social media, parents also have to make sure that they're doing their research, they're making sure that they're saying the right things and not saying the wrong things on social media.